Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally, finally doing the ballpoint pen challenge. I've been wanting to do this challenge for quite a while, and I guess I just never got around to doing it. So I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, but <laughs> I'm finally doing it. Also, I'm sorry if the quality is a little weird here. It gets better, I promise. Anyway. So, for this ballpoint pen challenge, I am using one pen, but this one pen has four different colors inside of it, and you can kind of see in the beginning of this video what the pen looks like, but it's basically four pens in one, and the whole pen is like three dollars, so I figured this would still work for the challenge because it's still a really cheap pen, and all the pens inside of it is, their um, the nibs are still ballpoint, and it's just different colored ink. So. The colors that it came with are blue, pink, purple, and green. I didn't use the green at all because it doesn't really show up, like, at all, and it looks kind of bad, so <laughs> I just stuck with the blue and the pink and the purple. Mostly the blue and the pink, and I used the purple for, like, the darkest parts, like the pupils of the eyes and some parts of the hair. So anyway, I sketched the initial sketch with the blue because it's the lightest of the colors, and I felt like I could get away with doing the sketch in that color because it kind of... Once you add, like, the purple and the pink, the blue kind of, it doesn't quite like disappear, but it does get a lot less noticeable. So I did the sketch in the blue, and then I would go over with the pink to add some darker spots, and I'm trying really hard to explain my process, but a lot of it was really intuitive, and just kind of playing around with the pen and seeing what worked and what didn't. Um, but anyway, I do suggest trying this challenge because it's a lot of fun. I also love to sketch with pen. Um, I love sketching with pen. It's a really good idea to sketch with pen if you're trying out, I don't know, just trying to like improve your style or just like how you draw. Because when you draw with pen, you are forced to make mistakes. Like you can't keep erasing and erasing and trying again. With pen, you're forced to make all the mistakes that you make. And I feel like you learn a lot quicker that way because you're kind of like brought face to face with all the mistakes in your drawings because you can't erase them. And that's not a bad thing, that's a really, really good thing because you can see where your area needs work. Like for example, I need a lot of work with making my work symmetrical because the eyes are like totally two different shapes. So that's something that, because um, I didn't notice it at first, but because I have the pen and I was forced to stare at it for a while and I couldn't erase anything, I noticed just how off it is. And I'm not trying to bag on my work or anything, I'm just trying to explain to you guys how important it is to sketch in pen because you can see things that you normally wouldn't see. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. So um, like I said, it was a lot of fun. I am really happy with the results. Um, the hair I kind of tackled in a unique way. So what I did was I sketched it with the blue. And then once I had all the shapes down, I went with the purple, which is the darkest of the colors that I had. And I like outlined the basic shapes where I knew I wanted them and I added just some little details and then I went in with the pink to add like the lines of the hair I guess which basically shows like how I wanted the hair to flow and which direction it was flowing in and you can see I do that here I just add like what direction the hair is going in and then after I did that, I went in with the blue again, and that's where I actually added the value of the hair. So like where the shadows were and where the darker parts of the curls were, I added that with the blue. And then occasionally I'd go in with the pink to add in some darker spots here and there. But yeah, I really, really liked that technique, and I actually might implement it into some of my other drawings because I really really like the way it came out and I am thinking about doing more drawings in this kind of style too because I actually really really love the result. Um, I love how sketchy and loose it is because it feels like one of my sketches but it also has a slightly more polished look to it I guess. Um, but yeah that's pretty much all I have time for. I'm running out of time in this video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an excellent day. If you guys have done the ballpoint challenge, please let me know. Like, link your guys' video in the comments. I'd love to see all your work, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!